wake up, there's lots to do, and I already built a fire for you. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. Yep, that was Denver's pitter-patter down the stairs. He's not going to miss out on all the fun, and neither are you. Hmm, I wonder what we're baking today. Hmm, I wonder. But first, I wanted to introduce you to my boy, Blue. Blue Heron. And it looks like he's mighty hungry and looking for something. I wonder if he knows what I'm cooking up in the kitchen. Hmm. He probably wouldn't be so... What? Hey? You got something cooking in the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Just be, just be patient. I'll be right in. I'll be right in. Hello there. Welcome home. Leah here, Doers Nation. I'm so happy to have you guys back. Today, you're the apple of my eye. <laughs> I'm just being silly. We're gonna fit all of these apples into this very small eight by eight glass pan. I'm just kidding. I'm making a ton of apple crisp, but today I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own old fashioned apple crisp the way your grandma made it. And I hope that you're pretty excited because we are going to turn all of this into this. Mmm, yummy. Well, folks, it looks like we're ready to make an apple crisp. The ingredients that you are going to need to make this apple crisp are six apples. I picked a combination of Granny Smith and Fuji apples, and then that way you have some of that bitter crisp and you have some of that softer sweet as well. You're going to need Pam so that we can grease our pan, cinnamon, lemon juice, need sugar. You're going to need brown sugar, old fashioned oats, tad bit of salt and flour, butter. I have my butter in the fridge still, so that's super cold in order to make the topping. So all we have to do is get started. We have all of our ingredients ready to get baking. So the first thing that we're going to do is preheat our oven for 350 degrees and let that warm up while we get to prepping all of our ingredients here. We are going to grease our pan. So grab your pan and make sure that all of your apples are properly cleaned. We are going to chop those up. Clean. Roll up those sleeves and let's get to work. I personally slice the apples in half Cut the ends off of the apples and then core the inside of it. Slice it and then chop them. I do leave the skins on there. I personally like that texture and flavor. And you have some extra nutrition in it as well. You can slice them if you want and you can peel them if you want. It's all up to you. But six apples will do the trick and Boom. Once your apples are chopped, you are going to add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. One and two. Add one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. One and a half. And we need three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Get that all mixed up. Get that cinnamony, sugary, lemony amazingness all over all those apples. That looks beautiful. Once your apple mixture is all stirred up, you can add it to your baking pan. It's beginning to look a lot like apple crisp. Gorgeous. 
and that will settle quite a bit in the oven for you as well. Now that we have all of our apple base prepped, we can get started on the crisp part of the apple crisp and make that streusel topping. Mmm. First things first, you wanna grab your processor. If you don't have one of these, you can do the same exact process with two forks as well. This makes it super easy, but again, if you don't have one, don't stress yourself out. You will be just fine using the two fork method. The first ingredient for our top is going to be one cup of light brown sugar. And you do want this packed. One cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of flour, half and one quarter, three quarters of a cup of old fashioned oats, half a cup and a quarter of a cup. And last but certainly not least, you are going to chop one very cold stick of butter. If you're doing this by hand, chop your butter just a little bit smaller. We are going to throw the lid onto our processor here and pulse away. That looks awesome. We have our apple crisp prepped, our top prepped, and now we can add this to the top. This recipe has a pretty significant amount of crisp topping. It will be mounded. What a heck of an apple crisp, right? Shh. This is apple crisp done right. Who wants that tiny little apple crisp anyway? Just like grandma made it. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. Let's pop this puppy in the oven so we can see what it looks like when it's all done. Let's check on that apple crisp. You're going to bake your apple crisp for 45 to 55 minutes. Oh boy. Mmm. Just a couple more minutes to get that top browned and we will be good to go. Mmm, yummy. Wow. It looks even better out of the oven. You did it. Now all you have to do is enjoy it. Don't forget the vanilla ice cream. And you know what? You deserve a little bit of caramel too. Mmm. Wow, I had a blast making apple crisp with you today. Enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and share. See you soon.